firefighter Chris Kellogg from St. Louis Park Fire Department. Today we're going to be going over what our gear does and how we're going to put it on. So first things first, when we come up and we put on this gear, the reason we're wearing it is we're wearing it to protect us from heat and steam when we go into a fire environment, not necessarily for the flames themselves. So we keep our gear staged on the truck so that we can get dressed out quickly and get out to the scene where we need to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is, when I come up to my gears, I grab our flash hood. This hood helps protect my face, a little bit of my neck, and the top of my head. It extends down over to my shoulder area so that if any sparks or any steam or any heat comes in, it'll protect me. Next thing we're going to do is we go and put on the pants, which we keep staged with the boots inside. Put our feet in, then we grab them and we pull them up. Kind of just like a normal pair of pants, but they've got these inside liners that again protect from heat and steam and other hot. Next we put on our suspenders, which helps keep the gear up and around us and keeps it up nice and tight so that it does not fall down, start sagging, and more heat can get in. Belts also we keep help keep it in as well as we have hooks on them that we can tie off ourselves if we need fall protection of any kind. Next I'm going to throw on my radio which I keep on this strap. The radio goes underneath my coat to protect the radio from heat so it doesn't melt and it also keeps the antenna pointed up so that we get better reception. Once that's on we throw on our jacket which again has two liners in it. As you can see the hood goes below that below my shoulder so everything overlaps it goes down past where the pants go up so that we have no gaps in the protection. That way no heat can get inside. Once zipped up, my microphone will go on the outside of it. And then we've got this Velcro here, which again keeps this zipper area protected so that no heat can penetrate through there. And I have my microphone access accessible to me so that I can make my communications. So once the gear is on, we're gonna to switch to our SCBA, which is our self-contained self breathing apparatus. On this pack is a bottle that actually has compressed air in it. It is not oxygen like most people seem to think, because oxygen tends to blow up in hot environments. So the first thing we do is we put on our shoulder straps, and then we've got our waist strap, which has a belt buckle just like a seat belt. Once everything's on, we tighten it up so it's nice and tight, Nothing's gonna fall off of us. A couple key components is we have the cylinder back here which is full of that compressed air. We have an alert system here that tells us what our air level is and if we were to get hurt in a fire and we fall down, we can set up that alarm which sets up a very loud sensor so that people can find us. Last, we have a regulator which leads us to our next piece. We have our SCBA mask. This actually helps protect us from heat as well but this is how we get the air to us so we can breathe in smoky environments. Once the mask goes on, we don't have to go on air initially. We can save our air for when we're actually going into that heated environment. That pass alarm will check to make sure that it works, which is what doesn't because it doesn't have a battery in it. And then we can go on air. Once we breathe in. Now, once our mask, once our mask is on, we put our hood over it. And this again, helps keep any gaps in so that we do not get any superheated air and it helps protect us. Once everything is on, last step is gonna be, we throw our helmets on. Our helmets help protect us from things falling on top of us. And they also have a neck shield in the back as more heat protection. Everything we do is based off that heat. It is adjustable so we can wear it over our masks. Click in, pull, and now we have full protection on everything we have here. Last but not least, we've got the gloves. And our thumbs go through here, and again, this helps keep that from being pulled in while we're putting our gloves. That way we don't have a chance to burn our hands, and we've got the cuffs on here as well. Once that's done, we are fully dressed out, we have no exposed skin, and we are ready to go in and fight fire. 